A small army of police officers follow presidential candidate Gustavo Petro wherever he goes. On stage, men with large bulletproof shields stand on either side of him, a reminder of what it means to run for office in Colombia, especially when promising a drastic rebuke of the status quo. We are on the cusp of changing history in Colombia, changing our history so full of violence, of injustice, of social exclusion, to the possibility of building a country at peace. As Colombians head to the polls, the climate is less than peaceful. Petro's rise from clandestine rebel to the threshold of becoming the country's first leftist president has meant an uptick in death threats, which he blames on the country's elites. A progressive force has never governed Colombia. I call what we had here a hereditary democracy, which is not democracy. Forty families have kept the control of the country for 200 years. They have concentrated the political and economic power, excluding the majority. The candidate's promise of radical change has pushed them to the top of the polls with 40% of the vote, but probably not enough to avoid a runoff in June. Petros moderated a stone during the campaign, going as far as making a very public and legally binding pledge not to expropriate any private assets, among other actions, but those haven't been enough to overcome many people's fear. His main rival, Federico Gutierrez, backed by most of Colombia's traditional parties, is running on a pro-business platform. He says he understands Colombians' social demands, but cautions against embracing policies that would put the country's stability at risk. Look at Venezuela. Look at Nicaragua. It's a social and economic model very different from the one we propose. We will offer change to Colombia, but change that will not put the country at risk. We don't need any more hate speech and class warfare. Some political analysts say the growing calls for reforms come from the signing of a peace deal with FARC rebels five years ago. Um, and the elimination of at least that main source of war um, has led to uh, rising social demands and rising social protests that has been undetended um, and that is now giving way to uh, you know, po popular opinion favoring um, a leftist candidate um, who is speaking directly to many of the social concerns being expressed um, by very many different sectors of Colombian society. But as this rattled country looks left for the first time, many wonder if indeed a majority is ready for such an historic leap. Alessandro Rampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.